Hey you guys, I just wanted to come on here really quickly before the video. I already updated on Instagram, but I know a lot of you guys who follow me on YouTube aren't also following me on Instagram. So I just wanted to come on here in the like beginning of the video just to explain something really quickly. So you might notice there are quite a few ads on this video, and that is because 100% of all the AdSense from this video, and if you guys don't know what AdSense is, basically AdSense is just all the money that is made from ads running on a video. It's basically how YouTubers make money. So 100% of all ad revenue from this video will be going to Black Lives Matter organizations. So I did put quite a few ads in this video and they are mainly non-skippable ads because those are what generate the most revenue. So if you guys are ever going to watch ads in a video or if you guys have been wanting to give monetarily to Black Lives Matter organizations but you can't afford to, this is a good way to do that. Now I know there's going to be some people that want to just refresh the page, refresh, refresh, watch as many views, has to have the video constantly playing, but I just don't want you guys' accounts to be flagged as bots. I don't really understand how that works, but I know that like bots are basically set up to just like keep adding views to people's videos, and I don't want you guys to be perceived as that, so just make sure you're not watching the video just like continuously. I would say like maybe like if you really want to give to organizations through this video, then just watch it like once a day or have it playing once a day just so that it doesn't like it doesn't become like a bot situation. Because obviously you guys aren't bots and the only reason why you'd be playing the video a whole bunch is to get views which will get views on ads which will get money which I will be donating to the Black Lives Matter organizations but YouTube might not know that and they might just see the views and think it's bots so just be careful I don't really know how that works so just be careful enjoy the video this video is just like a normal video that's on my channel there's not too much info in it about Black Lives Matter just because I did film this a long time ago but everything raised will be going. So yeah, if you're ever going to watch a video all the way through on my channel, make sure it's this one because it is for a good cause. Hi everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing our full face of makeup. I know it has been a hot minute since we did just like a makeup video. I'm really excited to do it though because I feel like this is something that I personally really like doing, trying out new products. So I'm just excited to dive back into it. And I actually asked you guys today what you wanted to see me film. It was between two and you guys chose this one. So I'm excited. I'm always happy when you guys choose the one I secretly want to do. So today is a good day. I mean, other than the fact that I was literally up until four in the morning, as you guys know, I got a new puppy and his favorite thing is to sleep all day and be up all night. So <laughs> I'm a little sleepy. But if there's one thing that can wake me up on a Friday, it is a box of makeup that I've never tried before. So as you guys can see by the title, Today and this weekend, we are doing kind of like a fun little two-part series. Today is going to be doing a full face of makeup using the least expensive products that I found on Sephora. And on Sunday is going to be the most expensive products. And let me tell you, it was expensive. Like way more expensive than I initially thought when I had the idea to do this. And in no way are either of these videos sponsored by Sephora or any of these brands. I just thought it would be fun. I remember a little while ago, it was like a trend to do like, I bought the least expensive items from this or the most expensive items so one day I just kind of was like well I want to do that but for makeup and I want to go to a brand where I never really thought that there were too many inexpensive products and that is Sephora it may have been done before if it has been I haven't seen it and even if it has I'm still excited everything in a little rubber made here and I actually ordered this stuff a fair while ago now I remember I had a few points that I really wanted to make sure that I kept sorted so first thing I did not want to do any sample sizes I wanted everything to be full size. This little guy snuck through the realm. It just tricked me, which happens so much on Sephora. Like I never know what size I'm honestly getting. Um, so just be careful with that. But other than that, I believe everything is a full size. And also the only other issue I ran into was sometimes the least, the very bottom, like when I would say like sort it from least to most expensive, sometimes the absolute least expensive was sold out. So I would just do the second one. So either way, we're in the more affordable stuff of Sephora. So I'm curious how it will compare to the most expensive items that we will be trying this Sunday. So make sure that if you like this video to tune in to, to soon, to soon, to soon, 
it's soon to tune into that one but how would you know if you like this video because we're at the beginning right who knows nothing's even happened yet so without further ado why don't we make something happen and let's get into diving into this makeup what you guys came here to see let's begin okay so the first thing we're gonna start with is priming our face I got the ordinary colors high adherence silicone primer I am like being a complete know nothing about this brand the ordinary I had never heard about it and then all of a sudden and I heard about it like 50 times in one day. So I think it's like a big deal of some sort. Now, when I saw the price on this, I assumed that it was like on sale, but this is actually like the standalone price. It was $4.90, literally leaps and valleys far from the other least expensive product. Like I think the next two was like $20. So this is like 25% less, 75% less math let's just say that this is affordable not only on the scheme of sephora and like high-end beauty products but also on the scheme of like drugstore more affordable products so if this is good i'm excited if irritation occurs cease use and consult a physician oh my goodness i really hope because i feel like every video where i've been doing my makeup lately i've had some weird reaction so fingers crossed to oblivion that today is not another reaction <laughs> i'm nervous about it also, it's nice out now, so the children of the neighborhood are out and enjoying the sunshine. So if you can hear the random shriek of terror, it's from outside. They're playing. And you know, sometimes I try and wait until they're done, and then they'll go inside. And then as soon as I start filming again, they come outside. So we're just going to ignore it because it's, you know what? It's the sound of happiness, whether it sounds like that or not sometimes. Like sometimes I'm like, is everything okay? Like I've genuinely walked outside and like checked on them before because I'm like, that does not sound like fun but they're having fun so what does this smell like hmm now if there's one thing I've learned it's to test it on your hand first so I'm just gonna rub a little bit in already it does kind of feel like this weird sensation on my hand like kind of hot and cold I'm just really impatient with things so I might just put it on what's the worst that could happen my skin burns off that would be awful on the box it didn't really say all that it was going to do it didn't say if it was pore filling if it was mattifying didn't say it just said it was a silicone primer so I think it will do some blurring hopefully get it really in the crease of my nose like my crease of my nose has just not been adhering any makeup so like get it in there now I'll be completely honest with you guys on a normal everyday basis I actually don't use primer I don't know why I just don't don't. So I am on the hunt for a primer. This one feels good. I think the closer it gets to my thinner skin, like under my eyes, the more it feels like it's doing that hot and cold tingly thing. But everywhere else, it feels good. So I think that we're fine. It doesn't really smell like anything. It kind of smells good. It smells weirdly like uh, when I'm at the chiropractor and like my face first hits the paper. Yeah, that's kind of what it smells like, if you know what I'm talking about. If you've got back and knee problems, then you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now onto foundation. I'm so excited to try this one because I genuinely wanted this, not as a foundation, but as a contour stick before. So now I'm gonna be trying it as a foundation. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. It's in the shade, oh my gosh, I can hardly read that. Banana, I'm the color of a banana and this was originally $33 on sale for $16.50 so this was the least expensive foundation which I'm really happy about because I kind of thought all the least expensive things might be the Sephora collection because I know that's like a pretty affordable collection at Sephora oh my gosh is this my color now I don't know the last time I actually used a stick foundation I was probably in like grade 8 or something now from what I can remember about stick foundations is they are thick and full coverage so hopefully this is no exception my gosh i don't know if this is the right shade it looks like not too far off it just looks like it has like some major orangey undertones which i don't have but we're gonna make it work today my plans for today after filming is just like a lot of editing and then i'm going on a bike ride for with my dad so i'm definitely gonna be over glammed for a bike ride but that's okay he's pretty used to that this is the this is the wrong shade i feel like it's not too far off that i have to remove it but it definitely is much too tan 
one for me. Oh my gosh, I might have to use a brush. If in the next video I've aged like 10 years, just know that this is the activity that aged me so much because I am pulling so hard on my skin to blend this. I almost feel like this foundation really, really needs to be blended out with an oil. Like, you know the Versali oil? I feel like if you put this foundation on and then put a little bit of that oil on your brush, I think this whole blending experience would be a lot easier. Not super full coverage, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. Okay, not too shabby actually. Initially, I was a little bit worried about the color, but I think, yes, it's a little bit too tan for me, but it's not too bad. Do I have like a bruise on my neck? Was I like pushing really hard? I don't know if it just like over oxidized right there. Maybe I'll just tilt my head down so you can't see that because I don't know what's happening there. But okay, that foundation actually blended in pretty well. I like the finish actually. It does look a little bit dry on my dry skin, but not too bad. Okay, now on to concealer. Now, there are not very many affordable concealers on the Sephora website. And keep in mind, I am shopping on Sephora Canada, which might be a little bit different than the US. I'm not sure. But I was looking for full sizes. And I swear, I thought I was buying the Tarte Creaseless Under Eye Concealer for $13. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. Like, I've never seen a Tarte concealer for so inexpensive. And then I got it and it is a mini. So this was the least expensive one but it's a sample size, so. Meh. That being said, it's very cute, and I hope that it looks good. Let's put it on. Oh my goodness, it is so thick. Oh my goodness, this is literally like the thickest concealer I've ever put on. Like if my face has ever felt like a mask, it is right now. I feel like it will be difficult to set because it's just so moist. Smells good though. Oh my goodness, it's actually blending in so nice. It kind of gives me shape tape vibes. Oh wait, tart, tart made shape tape. Okay, this is like a similar formula, I think. Except it almost is like a little bit more luminous, if that makes sense. Oh my goodness, I'm actually like really loving how that looks. It's like full, full coverage. <laughs> just hit my straw with my mirror. Although I didn't set out to get a sample size, I might have to pick up the full size of this one because I really like it. We'll see how it creases though. Okay, so I'm looking a little bit like a grease ball, so I have to set everything. To set everything, I got the Bare Minerals Broad Spectrum Multitasking Face Powder. This was $26, by far the least expensive. I couldn't get it in the lightest shade though because it was like sold out. So this is in the shade Bisque. It's very small compared to like the Laura Mercier setting powder, but I don't think that this is the sample size. I think it's truly just the size of it. I'm gonna need like this to really help me out. Probably would be the most expensive from a drugstore. And like there's some really good drugstore setting powders out there. Oh lordy, this is dark. I am like hoovering this powder up like nobody's business. Like I feel like I've used almost half of it already and my face isn't even set yet. Get on there. Oh no, oh my. It's a little dark. Okay, just as I kind of expected, it didn't set it to the extent that I would like. Like, I think the places that I usually wanna set, I kinda want them to be matte. Like, I would never set, like, right here. I would usually just set, like, around my eyes, my forehead, my chin right down here. But uh, it didn't set it a ton. Like it definitely still has that like, I would almost call greasy look, but it also could be perceived as maybe luminous and healthy looking. Also not saying that is a bad setting powder because I'm actually looking and it wasn't even like supposed to be a setting powder. It was like a powder miracle concealer and eyeshadow base. So it's actually supposed to be a base. So no wonder it's not like setting anything. I'm not even using it for what its purpose is, but I just wanted to get a loose powder and it was the most, like least expensive one. So, okay, next for bronzer, blush, and highlight, we have this set. This is the Lily Lashes X Sephora collection. This was $26 for all of these things. I don't know why I'm tripping over my tongue. Like, did my tongue grow in the night or something? This also had the stamp of Sephora quality, way nice price. So we will see how this goes. On here, it says, what What's your favorite position? C E O O O O O O O O O O O. All the names are upgrade, expensive, level up, jet setter, billions, and famous. 
I don't know what direction they were going with this. Here are the colors. We've got two contours, two blushes, two highlights. Now, I definitely think these will work for me. So let us dive in. I will contour first. Now I'd like to use the lighter of the two. So I'm going to dive into this one over here and I'm going to do what I normally do. So on the corners, this is a really pretty contour. Like, oh my goodness. It's like not too overpowering. And keep in mind, I'm just dipping so, so lightly in it. And it's so pigmented. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna go in with this more peachy blush down here, just because I use a pink blush a lot, so I'm gonna try something different. If this is as pigmented as the contour is, then I better be careful. Oh my gosh, <gasps> that is so pigmented. This palette is not kidding around. All right, now highlight, I'm gonna go in with actually just a mix of the two highlights. There's like a gold one and a more pink one. And I'm just gonna highlight my cheekbones up onto my temple. And also I'm going to obviously boop my nose. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised with that palette. It was super pigmented, loved the colors. Yeah, all around really good and a good price. Oh my gosh, I just was looking at the brow gel and this is a mini too. This was $12. This was like by far the least expensive and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, but it's the mini. Okay, well this was $12. Sorry, okay, I swear that's the only one. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I'm just not good at like sizes of things. So I see like the ounces and I'm just like, yeah, that sounds good. Like, that sounds right. And turns out it's a mini. And it even says mini in the title. Like, how did I miss that? Okay, so I've never used any brow gels from Anastasia. They have like lots of really good brow products that people really depend on. So let's see if this is any good. All right. I like it. Not much to be said about it. What does it smell like? It smells like chemicals. Okay. Okay, so now the complexion is done. Let's zoom in and get on into the eyes. Okay, so for the eyes, I have the Sephora Collection Mixology Palette. Now, this was originally $43 on sale for $6. So inexpensive. Like, it's hard to find a palette at the drugstore for that, let alone from Sephora that the prices are usually higher. So... This is crazy, this is kooky, this is fun. Let's see if it's any good though, because it could be $6 and just be awful. And then it's a waste of $6. So far, the packaging feels pretty good. Ooh, it comes with a brush, how nice. And a nice big mirror, look at that. Oh yeah, I would pay $6 for this in a heartbeat. I guess I already did, but like I would do it again. And here is the brush it comes with. It's got like a tapered pencil-y side and then a more fluffy blending brush. This is a great palette, oh my goodness. Now I have to like figure out what I wanna do. Initially like this pattern is like getting my attention, this white and this brown. So let's do something with with those colors. I'm gonna start off by taking this mauve color and putting that into my crease. Now this will be the test of if it's pigmented. Ooh, not too bad. Okay, we can work with this. Okay, now that we have the crease color, I think that we should take this green sparkly color and just put that into the outer corner and then like blend it kind of into the middle. I feel like those are kind of like an unlikely pair to go together, but I think that it looks really pretty in the palette. So let's see how it looks. I'm like so impressed with this palette. Like $6 aside, these are super pigmented and really easily blended. Sephora did it right with this one. I'm gonna take this color on my finger, put it onto the lid and blend it into the center. And then I'm gonna take the white in here and put that more into the inner eye corner. Also, if you're wondering why my nails look atrocious, it's cause I ripped them off and obviously everything's closed. So I can't go in and get them done right now. So they're just gonna breathe. Breathe in the vitamin D from the sun. This is like a really pretty white. It's like almost like chunky glitter looking. And then a little bit of this gold, just for a little something something to connect the champagne and the green. I'm really just throwing things onto my eyes at this point. A lot of times I feel like palettes, it's just easier to just use your finger with everything. Pretty basic look I chose, but the color payoff was great. All the colors look just like they do in their pans, which I really appreciate. And super affordable. I love this huge mirror. 
I really like this. This might be my favorite thing thus far. I really, really need a setting powder though. Like, I don't know if you guys can see all of the looks of oil on my skin, but I have dry skin. So for it to be looking like this is saying a ton. But okay, I don't have any setting powder, so we will move on into eyeliner. Now this no, no, better no. not be a mini. Am I serious right now? Please don't be a mini. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's a travel size. I am so sorry, you guys. Like, I honestly thought that I had a brain, but it turns out that I don't. This was $16. It's a mini. This may as well just be like, I did a full face of minis. But you know what? That being said, it was the least expensive on there, so maybe that has something to be said. It is crayon on one side and eyeliner on the other. So I'm going to be using the liquid eyeliner on this side, and I'm going to be doing your classic wing. You know, like, this eyeliner is really good. But for the price, I would 100% just go to a drugstore and get a drugstore eyeliner because like drugstore eyeliners to me are like just as good and way less expensive. Like the travel size is like, this would be the most expensive eyeliner at the drugstore, probably more than actually. So I don't know. I don't feel like it's worth it, even though it is really good. Okay, the mascara. Now I know for a fact, this is a full size. This is the It Cosmetics Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. This is the super Superhero It Cosmetics Mascara. Now this was on sale for $22.50. So that would be like the most expensive mascara you'd find at a drugstore. It's the least expensive one on Sephora. So we will see if it works good. I love this packaging. It's so fun. It's like an optical illusion. Like it's like thick here, thinner here, thick here, thin. Fun stuff. Very sleek. Not much going on on here, but it's enticing me. Let's see what the brush looks like. Oh yeah, I love that brush. I honestly, for like so long, Long. just thought all mascaras did the same thing like they just coated your lashes in black like there I literally could not tell where the difference was but I feel like I kind of see the difference now not kind of like I completely see the difference so I feel like I'm a better judge of mascaras now like maybe I'm just becoming a little bit more picky with my mascaras because I have some favorites but I think I can give better insight now okay I love this mascara I 100% will be using this as like my new daily mascara. I love the way that that looks. Definitely worth the money and it is the least expensive. Wait a second, is my eye feeling weird? You know when you like think you think something and then all of a sudden it starts actually happening? That was happening, but I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Whether I'm okay or not, this mascara looks amazing. It's separated good, it volumized good, it, the length is great. I love them. I honestly don't feel like I need to put on some mascara or some eyelashes, but I did buy some lashes. Now these are the least expensive ones. These are the House of Lashes Sephora Collection. Now these were a whopping $6, and this is in this shade or in the style Cecile, Cecile. So I'm going to put them on. Usually I would just leave my eyes eyelashes because I do like the way the mascara did them but for the sake of the video I will apply these for six dollars like that is pretty good like those look really nice to me the band is rather thick which I usually don't like but it's holding lots of lashes on there, so we'll see. Oh my goodness, okay. Sorry if like none of that was on camera, but I got the lashes on. They were a little bit of a feat, but I got them and they're not bad. Like again, I honestly didn't expect these products to be bad though. Like the least expensive products at Sephora, I'm sure are still amazing. And like maybe this is proof, minus the fact that I'm truly becoming more greasy by the second. Those eyelashes look great though. They feel really good, like they're nice and soft and fluttery. I like that they don't like cover the whole eyelid. That's always a weird thing. Like when I work really hard in my eyeshadow and then I put on a lash and it covers the whole thing, I'm just like, okay. That's a little counteractive. So I like these ones how you can still see the eyeshadow. So I will give these a thumbs up as well. And they were only $6. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have the lips. Now this is the Kat Von D Vegan Beauty. This was $6.82. This is the shade Thunderstruck. This is a liquid lipstick. It's called the Everlasting Glimmer Veil. Here it is. Now this was, is this a liquid lipstick or is this a lip gloss? Okay, what? Why does it look like fluorescent orange on here. This really doesn't look like a liquid lipstick. This looks like it's gonna be like, <gasps> this might not be 
my color. Now keep in mind, I didn't choose this color. This was the only one that was on sale out of the bundle. The rest of them would have been $30. This one was severely less. Okay, that is one layer. It's way too sheer, so I'm just going to wait for it to dry and then I will put on another layer. Oh no, okay. It was all going pretty well up until this. So this is a pretty interesting product though. Like this is a, this is like a liquid lipstick, but it's almost like a liquid glitter lipstick like this feels very glittery now in a different color would it have done better i think so it kind of gives me those vibes of like when people used to wear like their nude color to a t to the point where like it would disappear the lips almost like you would almost just put your foundation over top of your lips this gives me that vibes but like amplified not my color to say the least i like the product but not the color looking in my viewfinder i can't really tell if my skin looks super healthy and like dewy or if i look like i'm like sweating underneath this so make sure to let me know down below what the complexion looks like there were so many products that i really really liked and so affordable like it really shows that there are some very very affordable good products if you're looking on a budget now on the completely opposite side of the spectrum the most expensive products that full face will be posted on Sunday so make sure to tune into that one and let me know which look you liked better I don't know yet I haven't done the most expensive right now I'm feeling pretty good about a few of these products and I'm sure there will be some yeses and nos from that group too but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys on Sunday bye